Content moderation is a priority for a wide variety of online platforms that want to ensure a safe environment for their users in line with their trust and safety programs. Imaga has developed the right solution for accomplishing fully or semi-automatic content moderation, which is easy to use and scalable. It can help overcome several crucial issues at once. Firstly, the harm that unmoderated content can bring to users and your brand. The limitations of manual moderation with the ever-expanding volumes of content and the ethical problems and psychological burden on human moderators caused by disturbing content. Our platform allows you to handle content in a faster and more efficient way than ever before and thus increasing the productivity and growth trajectory of your online business. Hi everyone, my name is Georg Kostadinov and in the next few minutes we will take a look at the features that the Magas Content Moderation Platform offers. Our content moderation platform consists of three modules making it easy to be adapted to your needs, combining automatic AI-powered moderation with the necessary input from your human moderators. The admin dashboard is the web and mobile-friendly UI where you can get all of the functionalities and settings in one place. You can control the different aspects of the moderation process so that you can skillfully combine the automatic features of the platform for filtering and flagging with human moderation whenever it's necessary. When you open your dashboard, you have access to three different important sections – projects, moderators and rules. Let's review what you can do in each of them in detail. You can create a new project based on the different types of content you want to moderate. Let's say that you want to use content moderation for your travel agency. You can set up, for example, two separate projects for the different streams of content. Accommodation reviews for monitoring user reviews of properties and accommodation photos for monitoring the visuals uploaded for each property. For each project, there are a number of settings you can control. With the SOA setting, you can choose the number of hours within which items in the project have to be moderated. This is especially useful when you have a single moderation team that needs to handle different projects. You can further prioritize the project by setting its overall priority level in your dashboard. The priority level overrides the SOA setting so it pushes a project up a moderator's list. With batch size, you can set the number of items that a moderator should handle at once when working on a project. Only when they complete one batch, they'll be able to review the items from the next batch. With this setting, you can manage the workload of your moderators, ensuring that the content is reviewed in the best possible order too. You have two options for ensuring that you meet GDPR and content privacy regulations. Boring faces of people and of car plates. This setting is especially relevant if you're working in a heavily regulated field. You can also choose the retention policy or how long an item stays in the system before it gets deleted. This is necessary for the learning purposes of the AI algorithm which improves over time based on the moderator's feedback on its previous work. You can also assign different moderators to different projects. Once you assign a moderator to a project, they're allowed to flag items for all categories of inappropriate content in this project. That's how you make sure that the right person is working on specific projects and it also helps you to stay on top of managing moderators' workloads. You can set the different categories of inappropriate content that you would like to moderate. You can create new categories and name them according to your platform needs. For example, you can set categories like inappropriate, irrelevant and others. For each category, you can choose different options for the AI model for content moderation, the threshold range for forwarding an item to a human moderator. Everything that will sit outside of this range will be considered as properly moderated in an automatic fashion. Number of moderators to review a single item in this category for ensuring better quality and less bias. Excluding moderators you don't want to work on a specific category within a project. And in addition, you can write down the guidelines for moderation of this specific category so that moderators can access them easily whenever they work on it. When you add a new category, it is added to the system in real time so that it can be used immediately. You can create profiles for the different moderators on your team. They consist of their name, photos and languages they use. You can set flexible rules individually for each moderator and assign priorities. You're also able to review the number of items assigned to each person as well as the rules. 
In the rules section of the admin dashboard, you can create custom rules for your moderation process. For example, you can create rules for the different languages used and their priority levels. Then you can assign these rules to specific moderators. Let's say that a certain person has to prioritize the English language content, while another one has to prioritize Spanish language content. The moderators on your team have access to Imaga's content moderation platform through a dedicated interface for moderation. When a moderator walks in, they can immediately see the assigned projects and the respective batches of items within each project. On the left-hand side of the screen, they can review the attributes for each item, like item ID, URL, and additional information like the date when the item was submitted for moderation. There is also an option to translate the content if it's not in English, which is great for multi-language moderation. On the right-hand side, the moderator can see the categories for moderation and click on the ones that the item belongs to. For example, irrelevant or inappropriate or alternatively to approve the item if it doesn't breach the platform guidelines. Moderators can also use hotkeys to make the whole moderation process as quick as possible. The API is where the magic happens with its self-improving state-of-the-art deep learning algorithms that identify inappropriate visual content on the basis of visual recognition technology. It can also be on-premise or in the cloud depending on your legal framework. You can also stick with just the API component if you don't need human moderation. Once you create an Imaga account, you can securely analyze and moderate your visual data using our REST API. The AI-powered pre-trained model will start processing the information you provide for analysis and screening it for different categories of inappropriate content. The best part is that the process is fully automated, but the system can also learn on the go from the moderating decisions of human moderators if such are involved in the process. While you have the powerful admin dashboard from where you can control a broad range of settings for the content moderation process, you can also use the admin API for that purpose. And not only for feeding items for moderation, but you can create projects, add moderators, set categories with inappropriate content, and rules for moderation. You can also import data from different sources through the API endpoints specified for this purpose. With Imaga's semi-automatic content moderation, you can combine the best of machine and human moderation in one. Our AI-powered system helps you optimize the moderation process while also protecting moderators from the vast amounts of harmful content. Ready to give it a go? Get in touch with us to boost your content moderation with Imaga.